Hi, my name is Pastor Jerry Ingalls from First Baptist Church in Newcastle, Indiana, and we're on a journey together studying the Bible. Praise God, one chapter at a time. And I'm writing a short devotion on each chapter and then sharing that with you. Today we're looking at the last chapter of the book of Acts, Acts chapter 28. Years ago, I remember going to see The Lord of the Rings. I went to the movies and after three hours of amazing storytelling, it just ended. In fact, it ended right where the book stopped. Half of the people booed and the other half clapped. It was a divided audience. Why? Because the movie was the first part of an ongoing story and it left you literally looking out at what was ahead instead of nicely packaging what was behind. It was an open-ended ending. <laughs> I don't think Americans like that. All right, the same is true in the last chapter of the book of Acts. Listen to the last two verses of this book, verses 30 and 31. And Paul stayed two full years in his own rented quarters and was welcoming all who came to him, preaching the kingdom of God and teaching concerning the Lord Jesus Christ with all openness unhindered. What's that? Paul was still a prisoner in Rome, still under house arrest, and we don't get to see what happens next. Nothing. There it is. And the next book that we're about to start is the book of Romans and doesn't even really pick up the story from there. It, it, its context is back more in like Acts chapter 20. What's going on here? Why does this happen? Because the story was never about Paul. <laughs> Just like the story is never about us. Each of our lives will have an open-ended ending because this life is not all that we have. Our lives, our stories, are about pointing to a larger story that will never end. Our story points to his story. That's history. And our lives are not gonna have this nice, nice little packaged presentation. And if that's what your goal is, you're gonna be miserable because that's not what life is about. Our life is meant to point to his story. Seize the moment and look at what is ahead of you. Can you see with the eyes of faith an eternal horizon? Or is your sight bound up with this short life and making it look all pretty and tidy? There is no ending to your story. When your story is in God, there are only new beginnings. By the way, I was one of the people who clapped when I went to see the Lord of the Rings. Why? It's simple, because I read the book. <laughs> I wasn't surprised with how it ended. In fact, I was happy it ended incomplete because I knew the best was yet to come. Seize the moment.